Hey, what's up? I'm Rachel Starr. So, um, a lot of times I get emails, and this video I think is more for um, friends, family, significant others, uh, but it's something I want to hit on. So I get a, I get a lot of messages, mostly from m my girls, um, and it'll be like, how can I help my significant other who has a mental disorder? And usually I, I hear that the person is the, the significant other with the mental disorder is violent, you know, and I'm like, well, here's the deal. Um, if you're in a situation where the person is being violent towards you, abusing you, whether physically, mentally, emotional, you need to get out of that situation. Having a mental disorder is not an excuse for hurting other people, period. Okay, and, and I get that. Well, when they go, you know, manic, when they go super depressed, when they're hallucinating, they, they lash out at me, and I get that. I get that. And that might be a problem. Um, and they might not mean to hurt you, but they still are. And that is something that the person with the mental disorder needs to get under control. And yes, they need to get help to, um, to get that fixed. Um, it's the same same way I feel about you know people with mental disorders who have children and they are violent towards their children. Um, if you find yourself being if you have a mental disorder and you have kids, you need to protect them first of all, okay? And that, that, that's for all parents. Um, kids come first, right? Like that's for all parents. Um, but if you're a danger to yourself or others, you know, you need to get yourself under control, period. Um, well, there's a situation of you gotta find out, you know, you might, if it's a significant other situation, you might have to move out, okay? You, you might need to go to the hospital, you might need to go get some intensive therapy, whatever you need to do to get yourself under control, okay? Um, when it comes to kids, uh, you might have to, yeah, have the kids move in with a family member or something for a while until you get the help you need. Um, they, you know, if, if, think of it as like having a car, okay? And, and even though you, you love the, you know, you love these people and you don't mean to hurt them, if during certain hallucinations or something you lash out and you do, you need to get that fixed. Um, so it's like if you have a car and the car is super great 90% of the time, but one out of 10 times that you drive it, randomly the brakes will go out. <laughs> you can't keep that car. <laughs> That car is not safe. That car is not safe. So you're driving your family around and just randomly, one out of ten times, the brakes go out. Not good. Not good at all. Um, so yes, if your mental disorder is like that, you need to get that fixed. Okay? You need to get that under control and manage whatever management techniques you need to do to, you know, be safe. Be safe for yourself and be safe for others and, of course, others who are under your care. Um, one thing I get a lot is, should people with mental disorders, you know, have a family, have kids, etc., etc., you know, are they able to be in romantic relationships? Absolutely, to all of those things. Um, and I don't think that people with mental disorders necessarily need to be watched more closely if they have, you know, kids or whatever. Um, because it, being a parent is super hard. But if you have a mental disorder, um, you need to take the management techniques or therapy or whatever you need to do to make sure that you're able to protect those children. Um, I mean, it'd be the same thing if you have, let's say, low blood sugar, okay, um, and you have kids in the car with you. Well, if you, you can't be passing out driving the kids, I'd, be, I'd say the exact same thing. You need to manage that and take responsibility that, hey, I have low blood pressure or low whichever, low, low something that you have to take into account if you're driving, you know, your kids around. All right. Um, so keep in mind um, for those of you out there that who are loved ones of someone with a mental disorder, if they hurt you, abuse you, yeah, they absolutely might not mean to. However, that's not an excuse. Okay, like that—that's not an excuse. I'm very lucky in the fact that. The few times I've lashed out and like physically at anyone as, as honestly, it's been my dad. And it would be kind of situations back to um, him cornering me and just not knowing how to help me. And I was kind of going, you know, a little going crazy and he didn't know how to help me. And so he would have the tendency to try and get me to calm down by cornering me, which is a no-no. Don't corner someone. 
<laughs> but he was, you know, he's just doing what he thought was best. Like, whoa, no, don't corner a person. So there, there were times, yeah, that, that I lashed out and I hit him and stuff. And no, that's not appropriate. Um, and again, both of us were in the wrong because he, he didn't exactly know how to control me. and he, he didn't do the best thing. And I was just flipping out. Um, so yeah, and, and that doesn't happen anymore. I don't let it escalate to that point, and he also knows don't don't do that. Don't corner Rachel. It doesn't help. That's probably just a good thing in general. Don't don't corner Rachel. That may be my new mantra. Don't corner Rachel. Don't put baby in a corner. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm Rachel Starr. Like I said, if you're on the the side like me, where you have a mental disorder, and you know, let's say you you got these things, um, and you have a hard time managing it, talk to a therapist. Talk to a doctor. Figure out what works for you, okay? I'm Rachel Starr. Thanks for watching. So, uh, other schizophrenia type mental health videos. If you want to watch a playlist, scroll through through some different ones that I've done over here, some other random videos popping up. Always feel free to email me, rachel at rachelstarlive.com. Please keep in mind, um, my reading and writing comes and goes due to all the fun stuff I have going on in my head. Um, so, bullet points in the emails, keep them shorter and bullet points will make it really easier for me to read and respond to them. I just, big paragraphs, my, my brain glazes over and it's, it'll take me months, seriously, if you've emailed me sometimes and, and it's chunks of words, I have a hard time figuring out what I'm, I'm looking at. So I'm Rachel Starr, um, yeah. Go have a freaking badass day. I'm just gonna start over. Today's not my day for filming.